Hello everybody, and welcome back to Last Air Nerf Survival. It's been a good, probably almost two weeks now since I've even recorded a video, let alone played the game. I think I've played the game probably about once or twice in this time. So, I apologise, but reason for my utter and complete absence has been I have been working a lot, basically. I've had an average of 12 hours between each shift at work, and it takes an hour to go to and from work, so I've had 10 hours to eat, sleep, shower, etc. every day. And it's been exhausting, and I've finally had a day off yesterday, and a day off today. Spent yesterday just catching up on sleep, I think I probably got up probably about 2 in the afternoon, I think? I've been working 4pm to 4am, just put that out. And yeah, today, I think it's time to finally record something. I am working on a Durango video that will be out soon, hopefully. And we are also going out on a raid. Because what a better way to get back into the last day on Earth than with how we started out in general. Actually, to be fair, I think I started last day on Earth with, uh, what was it? Um, oak, oak gathering, oak farming tutorial guide thing. Good man one, I hope you've got some good loot for me. What's our threat of attack down to? Our threat of attack is down to one day six hours from the 37 days that it was. So I've been raided a lot of times. My threat of attack was completely gone. I logged in and i had been raided about six times. And the last five got nothing because steel base. Right then, good man one. Let's see if you've got anything actually good for me. Or are you just a man one? I have no idea what I'm talking about. Hey, let's take a set of uh, tactical. Okay, they've got a tripwire outside their door. Ooh, they've got two bases. Hmm. I don't see any storage in that one. So we're not going to go there. Let's blow up this door. Ooh, this might be a hacker. They have a tree in their base. Okay, we have found their living room. Ooh, is that a steel ball there? That is. Okay, interesting. Let's get some more C4. Right, I'm going to go for this wall here. And hope that it actually leads into their loot. Let's see what we're getting. Hey, it does. And they've got a steel core as well. Ooh, I don't know if I silenced this scar. I'm hoping I did. What are we getting in there? Is it going to be... Yeah, just the flare gun. Okay. Right, I'm going to need to be very careful with the C4 here, or I'm going to end up accidentally using it and blowing up a wall, which is something I would rather avoid. Ooh, here we go. Let's blow up that. This is their steel room, and it's got a stone wall. Please lead into it. It does! There we go. Nice. So this should be where we're going to get all their best stuff. At least I hope so. Good man one, you have redeemed yourself. You have actually got a good base. I've been getting a lot of raids where I've just come home with an inventory full of guns. So I think I currently have something like seven racks or eight racks completely full of guns. And I've run out of oak to start upgrading more boxes to racks. Now, let's go for the trunk. What are we going to get in, old trunky? And we are getting... Uh, gun, katana, some of them, nothing that amazing, okay, ooh, we are, ooh, here we go, that's better, what have we got, a VSS, a shotgun, and I'm, I'm going to leave those yellow tickets behind, I've got so many of them, right, we're going to get these boxes all ready to go, and then I think I'm going to put some stuff into... Ooh, what's in this box here? Ooh, hello. As good I looked in there. Um, let's get rid of these. And I'll take that. And I'll take some swap booties. We'll get a bit more space once we... Ooh, hang on. If we do this right, we're going to be able to run around with the big one chasing us. We've got the sprint skill. If I can get the auto heal, self healing, there we go perfect right that VSS can go 
Yeah, like that. That'll do. And I'll probably end up throwing the other one away. Right. Yeah, I'm not going to bother trying to break into this one. Ooh, my armor is almost broken. Since we're probably going to have the big one attacking us, that's going to be a good thing to do. Now, going to have to be very careful here because I am very out of practice and will probably end up getting myself entirely killed. And for those that are asking, yes, I have not fully upgraded my off-road bike yet. I know I need to do it. I just haven't gotten around to it. Lovely guns. Nice. Right. Inventory organization a little bit. So items I'm going to be happy to throw away as soon as I get the chance. Those ones and these bits I'll keep. Okay. Alright then. Let's go see if we can do with a big one. This game is very loud. There we go. That's a little bit better. Oh, so after the completion of the fully modded weapon series, do you all want to see... No, don't do that. Do you all want to see fully modded melee weapons? And there is, of course, still the zip gun and the bow left to do. Ah, oh, damn. They've each got extra hit on them. Oh, okay, not that one. A uh, bit of steel. What have you got? Bit of that, bit of that, bit of that, bit of that, bit of that. And let's get this one. And that one was empty. Okay, he almost killed me there. Okay, I am way too out of practice. Can we... We can't get past. Okay, closing the game. Ooh, that wouldn't have gone well, would it? Stupid tree blocking me in. Alright, so the loot we're leaving with is seven gu uh, six guns and these assorted items. Which isn't the best loot in the world, but it's also definitely not the worst. And I think that we should just do this video as a double raid. Get our timer back up a little bit as well. For our second raid of the day, we are going for player 6587. I'm not going to bother looking around online, we are just going to jump right in and see what we get. Last one, Goodman1, had some pretty nice loot for us. Probably could have done the raid better if we had researched it and knew what boxes to break. However... Oh, hello. This is exactly the same chopper. Is it empty again? That is exactly the same as the last raid. Okay. Wonder if we've got the same base again. That'd be cool. Just a different name on it. Nah. Okay, so they've got their front door there. Protecting this entire area of spikes. You can see walls there. And what they got around here. Is that a dog crate? Yes it is, however we can't get to it. Okay, I'm gonna grab one of my C4. I brought two with me. Yeah, I got two with me. Okay, and I think we will Hmm. Do we want to go for the section that's got the front door? Or the one with the window? You know what? Let's go for the front door. There's always a chance that it won't be honeycomb. And that we'll get into their loot room. And I was wrong. We did not get into their loot room. We might end up actually using multiple C4 on this raid. Obviously multiple, because two is multiple. But you know what I mean. More than two. Right then. So we've got this section we could break into... We've got that section. I'm going to go that way. There's a turret in there, which gives me high hopes. The turret is actually behind that furnace, I think. Okay. The turret was not in there, and my game decided to freeze. Well, that does not sound silenced to me. Let's um, use this instead. We are level 200! There we go. We just hit level 200. Let's get our final skill ever in the game. Boom. Copper miner. Level 200. Awesome. Go us. That's pretty good. Right. So there's that room up there. However, there's a turret in the section down there. So I'm thinking we're going to go... We're going to go that way. Whereabouts is this turret? Okay, we can see the turret for further this side. So we're going to go that way. All right. Just going to blow right through that wall there and hope that... There we go. Oh, hello zombies. 
Um, I can probably just punch the turret to death thinking about it. It's only got 500 health, 3 damage per hit. That's only a few hundred hits. But I'm not going to bother trying to work it out. I could, it's not even difficult. Oh well, let's get punching. One dead turret. Now we've got five boxes we can break into. I'm guessing we've got enough noise to do it. Yeah, we've got 51 noise. That should easily be enough. Ooh, 15 oak. There we go. That's... Oh no, it's 30 oak to upgrade a box, isn't it? Done. Okay. I only take full stacks normally on roads and like non-full stacks. What are we getting here? Um, I'm actually semi running low on the iron, so I'm not going to take full stacks on that. I'm happy for a half stack. And I might as well grab some of this stuff because I can make the military ammo with that. Which is always good for the raiders tasks. And because it takes up a lot less space to store the resources for the armor than it does to actually store the armor. Even if it means when I need to use it, I have to take a little while to craft it. Oh well. Ooh, hello. That is a lovely little zip gun right there. And some hatchets. Oh, and some zombies. Hello, all of you. I'd rather if you didn't shoot me. Shoot me? Glad you didn't shoot me. That doesn't make sense. They don't shoot. 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 Uh, whoop. What are we getting? Is that the three toxic? No, it's just one. Okay. And what noise are we at? 80. Alright, yeah, easily enough noise. We wasted a lot on this base. Okay, um... What do I want these hatches instead of? Don't really want iron plates. And I'm happy to ditch some of them. There we go. This is a lovely hatchet raid. Although, I guess most people call it a resource raid. Which, to be fair, yeah, it's more useful for resources than hatchets. Okay, I think I am going to end off the video here, so thank you for watching everybody, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you next time. Goodbye.